sorry about that. I'm not sure what happened. We lost connection. Um, we'll continue on from where we were. Um, continuing with the story of Lazarus and Jesus, we're in verse 38 of John chapter 11. Jesus was still angry as he arrived at the tomb. A cave with a stone rolled across its entrance. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. But Martha, the, the dead man's sister, protested, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Jesus responded, didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believed? So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me, but I said it out loud for the sake of all those people standing here so that they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. And the dead man came out, his hands and feet bound in grave clothes, his face wrapped in a headcloth. And Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. And that is the story of Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. The thing that has always intrigued me about this story is not really the raising of Lazarus from the dead, as miraculous and as wonderful as that was, but what has always amazed me and 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 really touched me about this story is the depth of relationship that Jesus had with Lazarus, Mary, and Martha. You know, we often think of Jesus as this great teacher on the on the mountainside, giving us the uh, beatitudes, teaching the Sermon on the Mount, uh, speaking to multitudes. Uh, feeding the 5,000, that kind of stuff. And that's all true. And that's all part of who Jesus was. But there are certain instances that we get a glimpse of Jesus and his deep relationship with the people that he came to know. And that is what is true of Mary and Martha and Lazarus and Jesus' relationship with them. So our takeaway from this today is very simply, how well are we cultivating the relationships in our lives? What are those relationships based on? Are they based on a common relationship in Jesus? Are they based on the idea that we are trying to lead people to Jesus? You see, there's no greater relationship in all the world than our relationship with God through Jesus Christ. And the neat thing about that relationship is that we get to share it by building relationships with other people. Let that be our goal today. May we strive to build relationships with others as we lead them to Jesus. Will you pray with me? Father, thank you for this wonderful story of Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. Thank you, Father, that he um, had such a wonderful love for Lazarus and for Mary and Martha. Help us to learn from his examples today, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, I trust you'll have a terrific Tuesday. Go out there and build some relationships. Touch some people with the love of Jesus, won't you? Until tomorrow, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. God bless you.